Hello, Carranza. Hello, Monty. Hello. So you got a path in? Yep. I can't wait to show you the path. Right. It starts off perfect. Right. The further down the garden we get, it starts to break away into chaos. Right. Which is my favourite word, chaos. You've been very generous with the cement. Um, when you get to the edges here, you won't be able to plant up to the edge of the path, will right. you? Right. It seems that Monty is not as impressed as Carenza had hoped, and he's struggling to get his head around her approach to gardening. Now, what I don't quite understand is, is where the grass is now. Yeah. What surface are, are, is that? Are these borders? Are they...? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I actually... The way that this garden has happened, it's kind of been split-second decisions. But it seems to be working. That, the way I'm operating this whole garden, it seems to be working. Monty isn't convinced. Time for a serious chat. The truth is, Carenza, you are quite a chaotic person. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> and this has the makings of quite a chaotic garden. And there are two things we have to do. One is steer you in such a way as it actually gets made. Because yeah. I could see, in four months' time, it wouldn't look very different to this. OK. Two, we should celebrate your chaos. You wanted a fantasy garden. You wanted Alice in Wonderland. It should be wacky and it should be yours. So if we start with that mound, yeah. if I take up the turf, that's number one, it's not going to be a rockery per se mm. because a rockery, you need more stone and there's too much soil underneath it. But we can have rocks in there and also it can be what you want. It can be wacky. It can break every rule in the book. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm good at, breaking all the rules. Right. Pep talk over, now on with the job. Time to turn this mound of earth into a garden feature. The next thing is to start thinking about stones and bringing them in. If we get, let's just take this one. So if we put that, and we'll put another one across there. <laughs> Thank you, Monty. Is that going to work or not? Yes. By placing the rocks together on the face of the mound, Monty is creating pockets for planting. You need to get more soil or compost, pile it up in so that we draw the rock looks like it's just been uncovered rather than sitting on top of it. Yes. And if you put sowed a mixture of, of wildflower seed, because of all the rubble under there, that will be quite poor soil, so therefore the flowers will grow. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. I love the sound of that. We're getting somewhere. We are, finally. Just needed you, you know, back at the helm of the ship. <laughs>